Hey y'all, my name is Maya and welcome or welcome back to my channel where I react or review country, R&B, and sometimes pop. In this video, I will be reacting to Palomino, the newest album by one of my favorite country singers. This album was released on April 29th. 2022 wild card and revolution are my favorite albums by Miranda's song is called acting up i absolutely love this deep and rich bass coupled with the slow pace guitar and so far i'm just i'm loving the lyricism let's go I am at the 2 minute and 15 second mark and I absolutely love this guitar. It is just, it's just, it's so edgy and I'm loving that so far. I absolutely love the bouncy guitar playing. It feels bouncy and I am at the two minute and 32 second mark. This song is just, I love it and I'm so excited for the rest of the album. I also love the drums and the background vocals. The next song is called Scenes. I am loving this instrumental so far. Even though I'm in the 20, the 10 second mark, it feels like 90s grunge rock mixed in with country and I'm just absolutely, I'm absolutely loving it. I am at the 1 minute and 32 second mark and I love the tambourine that's playing right now. I also I am loving these lyrics so far. I am at the 2 minute and 42 second mark and I love this electric guitar solo. It is absolutely amazing. And this song seems to be about taking in what's around you and just being observant and, and taking in the beauty that's around you. And I think that is absolutely awesome. The next song is called In His Arms. I am at the 22nd mark and this instrumental just seems so romantic. I love the slow paced guitar. This song seems really beautiful so far. I am at the 1 minute and 21 second mark and this song seems to be about Miranda missing her husband and just like it just it, it seems like the song is about missing him and even missing him even though she's just in like these really beautiful and like interesting places. And that is a very unique topic for a song. I absolutely love that. And I'm so happy for Miranda. I'm happy that it seems like she has found somebody who loves her. And I just think that's really beautiful. The next song is Geraldine. I have heard this song and I just, I love this guitar. I love, it just, it just seems like a song to dance to and I love that. This song seems to be about Miranda how there is a girl that is interested in her husband and her just just not just not having it just not wanting this girl to get 
in between them. And I feel like this song and Jolene by Darlie Parton have some similarities. However, I feel like this song is a much more edgier version of it. Like, I feel like this version just... Like, this song just has a, just has, like, a different attitude. Like, this song is like, you better not take my man. And I just, I love, I love the attitude in it. I love the sass in it. Um, the, the sass is completely understandable. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm loving this song so far. This also feels like a song that you could dance to and I'm loving that. The next song is called Taurus, which is something that I can relate to because I used to live in Las Vegas and and when I had moved to Memphis and when I when I'm here, when I'm downtown, I feel like I'm a tourist. So this is a song that I can relate to. This is a song that I've heard a snippet of. I'm so excited to hear the rest of this song. I am just absolutely loving the lyricism in this song so far. I am loving the lyricism in all of these songs and throughout all of her albums, but I think this one this one is going to be one of the songs that is like one of the songs that I relate to the most because I just I'm always feeling like a Taurus. I feel like, you know, when it comes to Milwaukee and Memphis, I feel like that are the cities that I'll just want to keep exploring and someday I wanna see the cities throughout the entire country and I want to go to Europe and Australia and Africa and I just and I'm one of those people who likes to travel and who wants to explore the world so I feel like I relate to this song um just just the longing for travel and the longing for exploring uh so yeah I'm loving this song. I love um, Miranda's soft vocals, and I love the soft and fun guitar. This next song is called Music City Queen, featuring the B-52s. I am one minute and one second into Music City Queen, and I love how... I love how this production just seems so funky. I love the drums, I love the guitars, it just feels just so unique and just kind of soulful in a way. And I love, I am loving, I am loving what the feature is adding to the song. It just makes it, I feel like the feature is making the song feel more rich than it already is and just making it feel fun more fun than it already is and I I'm absolutely loving how I love how I just I am loving this song so far I am one minute and 11 seconds in and I absolutely love and adore this piano that just came in. I am one minute and 37 seconds in and I'm not sure if I like the additional ad-libs but I'm just I'm go I'm gonna try my hardest to like it because I am absolutely obsessed with wild card and i want to be obsessed with palomino too let's go the next song is called strange which i already heard and i love but i want to listen to it even more let's go 
I am 3 minutes and 13 seconds into Strange and I am absolutely loving her background vocals. And I feel like this song is about how nothing is making sense these days, which is something I and I feel like a lot of other people can relate to. That song is one of my favorites. And this next song is called Wandering Spirit. I am 1 minute and 29 seconds into Wandering Spirit. And I am just, I am absolutely loving this guitar. And I love how this feels like a classic country song. Even though... I think the only classic country I've ever listened to was Dolly Parton. This feels like this this feels like this was ooh, this this feel I feel like this is kind of like a classic country song. Let me know in the comments below if y'all feel like this is a classic country song too, but wow, I'm absolutely loving it so far. And I love the harmonizations, and I love the background vocals. I also adore the hand claps and that electric guitar that was in the song. I feel like this is a song I can see myself dancing to. The next song is called I'll Be Loving You. I am 51 seconds in, and I love the fast and slow-paced piano. I love the guitars. I'm just, I, I am loving this instrumental, this song so far. I am 2 minutes and 25 seconds in. And I think this is going to be one of my favorite Miranda Lambert songs of all time. I feel like this song has elements of blues in it. And I am an absolute sucker for love songs. And this is just, I, 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 and I love the lyricism. I just, I love this song. It's one of my favorites. Woo, it's absolutely amazing. I love this album so far. Let's go. I absolutely love how soft the background vocals and the harmonies are. They just sound so beautiful. And the next song is called That's What Makes the Jukebox Play. I absolutely love how dreamy this song is. I love the slow placed drums and the guitars and the harmonies. It is absolutely beautiful. And the lyricism in this song is absolutely beautiful as well. I feel like this song is about how life is, how life's better when you just, when you have somebody to come home to or some, or just somebody that you wish you were home with and just just happy with just having someone just 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 having just having someone just having someone romantically and this song is just so beautiful i am loving it so far and in addition to that, I feel like this song is just wanting to just spend forever with the person that you're in love with. And I think that is so beautiful and that is something that I would like to have someday myself. And I'm just so happy that Miranda found somebody who... Uh, who like I said, who loves her and hopefully somebody who treats her right and just just somebody that she can even picture wanting to spend the rest of her life with. That is just absolutely beautiful. 
The next song is called Country Money. I am 36 seconds in and I feel like this song is like a mix of a little bit of hip hop, a little bit of rock, and country. And I think that is just so unique. And at the 10 second mark, I feel like there was like a harp playing and guitars and it was just absolutely beautiful. I am so sick, so excited to hear the rest of this song. I absolutely love the guitar and the drums in that song. And I just, I, I love the lyricism. I just love how she is just talking about just, just like the luxury of just having money and just, and, and being proud of that. Um, n not a lot of songs in country music are about money and are about flossing money and, and about enjoying it and about just, and just, and just loving the fact that you have money and just the fact that you earned that money. And I'm just, I absolutely love this song. And I like, like a lot of these songs on here, I can see myself putting this on repeat. Um, I just, I love it. I, oh my goodness, I absolutely love it. I just, I love this production as well. In the first 10 seconds, I feel like there is a toy piano and a harp playing. And I just, I love this song so much. The next song is called If I Was a Cowboy which I've heard and love and I'm excited to hear again and have it on repeat. Let's go. I am absolutely loving how dreamy this guitar and background vocals are in the first 10 seconds. I, I absolutely adore the tambourine, drums, and guitars within the production. I am at the 1 minute and 26 second mark, and I am loving these harmonies and the background vocals. They are just absolutely beautiful and make the song even more dreamy than it already is, and I adore that. The next song is called Waxahachie, which is a small town in Texas. I am one minute and nine seconds in, and I love Miranda's soft vocals, and I love the energetic guitars. I can relate to this song. I feel like this song is about missing a place and that's something that I can relate to. I'm not sure if Miranda um, had lived there or not, but um, I sometimes I feel like this. I feel like this with Memphis. Like sometimes, even though I love Milwaukee, there are times when I miss Memphis. And so I can relate to this song. The next song is called Pursuit of Happiness. I adore the soft yet energetic guitar and the instrumental break that starts at the two minute mark. Doing what makes you happy is absolutely beautiful and is extremely important. The next song and the last song is called Carousel and I had so much fun listening to this album. Let's go. 
I am one minute and 20 seconds in to Carousel, and I love how soft and rich sounding this production is, along with the guitar. It is just, it's beautiful. This song just, it seems to be about grief, um, grieving amazing things and grieving amazing people which is just very sad but it's relatable and um i feel like this is a good way to end the album uh this album is just absolutely amazing it is so unique it is so fun it is so honest and I just, I absolutely love that. I want to take a moment and talk about this album art. I love how she is standing in a desert surrounded by cacti and mountains. I love her don't mess with me pose along with her outfit. I love the font of her name and the title. This has been a position of a music darling, and if you liked this video or Miranda Lambert, subscribe, like, and share to your friends. I hope y'all have a good day or night.